Well, April showers bring May flowers, and April also brings tax season. I tackled the latter of the two and learned what new parents need to know because filing will look a little different this year. I think it's important to make sure that you're getting every credit that you're due. Okay, Tim Petrie is a managing member for H.D. Davis CPAs, where they help businesses and individuals. We originally started our practice as a tax focused uh, firm. And over the years, we've kind of evolved to be a year round partner with a lot of our clients. This year's tax deadline is April 18th, but you can file an extension if you're running behind. You get an extension to file. You don't necessarily get an extension to pay. So you may need to send in some money with that extension. Also, if you're a first time parent filing, this year could look a little different. If you're married um, and you file jointly, you, you qualify for those credits as long as you don't go over certain income uh, thresholds. But if you file separately, uh, you may lose out on some of those credits. And some people in those early years, uh, they're filing separately for student loan purposes. For those who aren't married and have a child, only one of you can claim them. What a lot of parents do uh, in that situation is they alternate or they review which one is best and they go from there. Uh, but the key there is making sure that whoever takes the child needs to meet those dependent requirements. You know, namely, the largest one is providing more than half of their support. A lot of this can be confusing. Since it is so new, it might be beneficial to go see an expert so you're getting all those credits and filing correctly. And some people, you know, they'll come to us in those, those change years, mm -hmm. right? In the year where there's something different in their life and they need someone to bounce things off of them and get things set up and roll in the right direction. And then maybe the next year they'll do it on their own. Petri also told me that if you're seeing your prepare now, don't be surprised if they're a little slower or stressed and busy. If that's the case, it might make sense to file for that extension just to make sure what you're signing off on is correct.